Audio Jungle. Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland Hartman from graphicinmotion.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to customize my business network opener After Effects template. So let's get started by opening up the project. When we open up the project you see that After Effects tells us that this must be converted from version 11.04. That only means that this project was originally created with After Effects CS6 and now I'm using After Effects CC 2019. So After Effects will convert this project and you see everything works. And you also see that After Effects did not change the original project, it just created a new project and added this converted here. So you do not lose the original CS6 file when converting. Now let's get started with the customization. First of all, you can add a logo and the logo composition is already open in the timeline. If it's not open, you can find it here in the project area and just double click to open it up. And if we take a look at this, you see that we have already a title placeholder in here. So if you want to use a title or a text, then you can just customize this by double clicking and then you could enter your title. If you want to use a logo, we have to import a logo. Therefore we go to file and choose import and file. And for this example, I will just import my logo and I will add it on top of my placeholder and deactivate the placeholder. Uh, one hint regarding the positioning of the logo. If you activate the title action safe guides, uh, then make sure that your logo does not exceed this outer line here, because then the transition will not work properly anymore. So make sure that it stays within the box and everything is fine. Now let's move to the audio composition. Here you can put in an audio. There is already some sound effects. Actually, it's only one mouse click. It's already added here and is included, but you can of course add the same audio that I used in the preview video. If you want to use that, you can find a link to this audio in the download file. There is a folder that's called links and this will lead you to Audio Jungle to exactly the same audio that I used in the preview video. So let me quickly import this audio file. I just double click in the empty space in my project window and I move to my folder, import the audio file and then I just drag it in my audio composition and make sure that it starts on frame zero. Now we can move to the setup composition and we can take a look at our animation. In this setup composition, you can now change the look, you can change the colors and you can of course also add the keywords. To add the keywords, we have two options. The first option is to directly add the placeholders right here in the project window. You see there is this keyword placeholder folder. If we open this up, we can access each of these 21 keyword placeholders. If you want to do it directly in the setup composition, then you have to press this little guy here, the hide all layer switch. So let's press this and then you see everything that is actually creating this template is now visible. I just reduced this to make it easier to set up and to make it uh, better to work with. But if you want to access everything directly inside the setup composition, then just click this little button here. And now you can also access these keywords directly. And this also makes sense because then you can take a look uh, for example, in this middle part here, which keywords are, are prominent here. You see keyword 19 is, is quite visible. So you can arrange your keywords a bit, the more important ones in, into these placeholders that are uh, visible in the front and maybe the not that important ones to the placeholders that are a little bit further back and a little bit smaller. So let's do that right now. Let's change keyword placeholder number 19. So let's just come down here, select this one, you can also do it right here. It's exactly the same, no difference. So double click it to open it up and then we see what this is. And actually it's a pretty simple composition. And every change that you do here, you can also add something in here, uh, will be then added to our animation. So to edit the keyword now, you can just select this layer. And this is the keyword text layer. We can double click and enter a new title. Maybe you want to add high tech. And then you can, of course, also add a subtitle or you could just turn it off or you can add whatever you want. Uh, this is more or less only a design element, not really a 
yeah, readable. Now we can, of course, also shift these brackets to match our title size. So let's do that. You see that we have two left brackets here, L1 and L2. And if we select these and then shift them, we can line them up better with our title. And we can do the same with the right brackets. And of course, now we can also do the same with my subtitle and just shift this so that it lines up with my title again. Okay. And one more little hint regarding the layout of these uh, placeholders here. If you activate, as I did, the action title save guides, you see in the middle here, we have this cross. And this is actually representing the point of our network. So if you take a look at our setup composition, and if you zoom in, if I zoom in here, and if I deselect it, you see this point here. And actually, this is what is tracking, or this is what the keywords are tracking. So each of these keywords is tracking its own point. And this point is exactly sitting in the middle of the keyword composition. So if I take all of these now, all of these elements by holding down shift and selecting all of them, and now I, let's say I position them right beside the midpoint of my composition right here. You see what I do now. And if we now go to our animation and you now see that this will shift right over here. So you can also change the positioning of these. You can also add images, for example, if you want. So if you want to add an image, you, you can now import an image and just drag it in here right beside this. And then you have your title here and an image here. So it's pretty versatile. You can really play with these and stylize these as you wish. Okay, so you can do this for all of the placeholders. And then in the setup composition, you have, of course, a lot of options to change the look. So let's take a look at that. Therefore, I just collapse this again. And first of all, I will just check out the color setup. Now, as an example, I just want to create a brighter version of this. So let me go to the color setup and let's take a look what we have got here. First of all, we have the cursor color. And this is, of course, the color of our mouse cursor of this mouse pointer right here. So I can change this and you see then it will change the color, but I want to leave this on white. Then we have the button colors. And if we take a look right at the beginning of our animation, you see this button here. And let me make this invisible for a moment. And you see we have two colors. This is the inside of the button. And then we have, of course, this outside color of this ring. The next two colors are for the network. So if I move on in my animation and you see now my network is visible and I can change these colors. For example, in my case, I want to change these to just plain white. Then my network lines and guides will just be white. So let's do that for now. Okay. Now my network is white, so you can control the colors of this network and actually it's just a gradient from top to bottom. Then we have the colors of the keywords themselves. So you can change these colors of the title right here. You do not have to do this inside your keyword compositions. You just can use this control to colorize all of these. But in my case, I also want these to be white. So I will change this to white. And then I have the keyword subtitle color. And this is the color of these little subtitles here. So let's change these to white as well. And I also want to change the bracket colors to white. So you see, you can control all these colors just using this color setup. You do not have to uh, change this in each of these compositions. Now we have the logo outline color. It's also interesting. If you take a look here at the beginning of our logo reveal, that's just right here around here. You see that in the, in the beginning, there's only an outline of the logo, which is then filled. And it's happening pretty fast, but, but it's just, you know, a little detail to make this a little bit uh, more interesting. And you can, of course, change the logo outline color. So now we could use something like this yellow here. And you see now the outline will be colored and then the original colors of the logo will animate in. But in my case, I also want this to be white. Actually, I want all of these colors nearly to be white, but not the background colors. And you see, we have this background texture here. If I move my cursor right here, then we will see this a little bit more obvious. It's a world map, actually, a bit abstract, but it is a world map. And you can change the colors here of the beachy texture. So it's also a ramp from top to bottom. 
And in this case, I will use a bit different color. So let's say we want to go to something. I will probably have to change this later on. But just for now, let's take something bluish here, bright bluish, and something like maybe a violet or something like that. Let's take a look. And you see that this colorizes the background texture uh, of the world map here. And then I have my background colors and I have four of these background colors. So the first background color is the color in the middle of the composition. And I want to make this brighter and a bit like, let's see, maybe like something like that. Not too bright though. Okay. You see what this did. This changed the look quite a bit. Now the second color is the top area here and we will put in something different here, maybe similar to my background texture color here. Uh, maybe not that bright. I need this to be a little bit darker. Okay. And now I have two colors that are coloring the areas left and right bottom of the screen. So I can now come in here and change these to something way more interesting. Maybe like that. And maybe something like that. So I just created a, a very different look and I can come in here and brighten this up a bit. And you see now I have a very bright setup. It's maybe a little bit too bright actually. And this is also looking strange now because I have glow in the scene. So if you want to use a very bright layout or bright design, I would recommend that you move to the color correction layer and just turn off this glow effect right here. So use the glow when it's dark and when you want the network to glow. But if you have an overall brighter look, then just turn this off and this will increase the look of this. You see now the glow is not disturbing this anymore and I should have done this before. But when you create a bright setup, when you want to use a bright design, then turn off the glow. Okay. So now you see, it uh, doesn't look too bad. I could, of course, spend a bit more time to make this a little bit more interesting. But I think it's not too bad. And now there's only one thing missing, and this is the color of this flare. And you can change the color of this flare directly on the flare layer. And this is because this flare is also pre-rendered and it has already a color. And so we use a hue and saturation effect to change this color. And you can just come in here and change this hue value here, the master hue. And if I put this to zero, you see that this is the original color and the original color is bluish, which looks quite nice in my design. But you can, of course, just choose whatever you want. You can colorize it by turning on this wheel. You can also just use the colorize function and then the flare will be colorized overall. Okay, so the last step of the customization is that we add a tagline and you see we have the tagline right here and it says add, edit the tagline, actually it says edit the tagline, uh, we have to correct this, behind this marker and this is just because the tagline is revealed right here. And it's just a simple text layer, so just double click it and enter your web address or whatever you want to say. You can also position the logo Right here, you could also scale it up a bit or yeah, change the position, whatever you want. And this is more or less it with the customization of this template. Now, one more thing to export. Do not render the setup composition. You can render it, but if you render the setup composition, you will have no audio in your export because the audio is actually only inside the export compositions. I added a lot of export compositions right here. And I did this because the original resolution of this is quite big. So the original setup composition, if we take a look at this right here, uh, setup composition, you see it is 4096 times 2160. So it's 4K resolution and it is 60 frames per second. So this is the, the original size of this template. But then I added a few render export compositions and you can see all of these here. So you have all these 4K resolutions from 25 frames, 30 frames, 50 frames per second, 60 frames. Then we have a few reduced HDTV for YouTube, for example, um, 25 frames or for, for HDTV, 
29.97 uh, frames per second and 30 frames per second. And then we have some Ultra HD. This is a little bit smaller in, in the size on X here. And you see it is 3840. So this is more or less the TV resolution, Ultra HD, and 4K is the cinema resolution. And you have also four different frames per second. So you can just choose whatever you want. For example, you want to export for YouTube, then you can just simply select this one, render HDTV, 30 frames per second, double click, and then you see that it should work. It just has to calculate. And you see now we have a way smaller version of the template. The audio is also in here. So you will get audio if you enable the audio export and it will match the YouTube settings. Okay, so this is it with this tutorial. If you have any further questions, then please feel free to contact me. You can either drop a comment or you can also contact me directly through my website, which is www.graphicinmotion.com. There you can find all my templates and a lot of tutorials, also an After Effects basic course if you are a beginner. And of course, you can find a contact form where you can directly drop me a message and you can also find my email address right here. You can also contact me through my VideoHive profile, and that is videohive.net user graphic in motion. You can also drop me a message through this contact form here. So I really hope that you like this template, that you create some really cool openness with it. Thank you very much for watching, and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Audio Jungle.